As many of my viewers know, I like vintage camping stoves. I don't really know why, I'm just kind of fascinated with them. And today we have a Coleman 502. I did pick this camp stove up on eBay and I got a reasonably good deal on it. But what I really liked about it was it came in the cook kit. It came in this case that doubles as a cook kit. The kit not only stores the stove when not in use, but it also doubles as a pan and also a pot. But the star of this video is the camp stove itself. And again, this is a model 502. This particular one was made in May of 1964. At the time of this video, that means this particular stove is almost 60 years old. Now, if you're not sure how these camp stoves work, I'm gonna be very brief and explain it to you. Basically, they take a white gas or a Coleman camp fuel. They have a built-in pump on the side. So after you fill the tank, you have to pump it up and pressurize that tank. The fuel gets delivered to a tube up here at the top and this tube is heated up by the very same flame that is feeding it. This allows the fuel to atomize and then it is pushed back into the burner on the bottom. So getting them started can be a little bit finicky, but once you get everything warm warmed up, they run really well. There are only a handful of controls. There is a shutoff valve located here. There is a needle valve located right here. And then there is the pump itself, which is located on the side of the tank. I did call this a needle valve. It technically isn't what the average person would consider a needle valve to be. There is actually a long needle that goes down through a series of coils inside this tube. As you rotate this valve, it pushes and pulls on that needle. It does a couple of things. It self cleans the tip on the other end and it also helps you regulate the feel that is going to your burner. Enough of the boring how to's, let's go ahead and see if this is going to light. I have not used this yet, in fact I just unpacked it and you are seeing it for the first time such as I am. We will first pour a little bit of Coleman fuel into it and try not to spill too much on my workbench. We will put the cap back on and snug it up just a little bit because remember this is pressurized. We've made sure that the valve is turned off. We're going to take this valve and point the handle away from the burners itself. That is the starting position. And the way this pump works is you rotate the handle counterclockwise about a turn that opens up the valve and it is ready to pump. And we're going to pump this up about 25 or 30 times to get it started. For directions, we're gonna take that valve and open it one quarter of a turn, and then we're going to light it. Now what this is going to do is this flame is going to heat up that tube. That tube is actually called the generator. The fluid going through that generator will turn to gas. It'll atomize, and then it'll be pushed back up the plates around the bottom, and that'll make the burner. It takes about one or two minutes to actually warm up and get going really well. So let's go ahead and give it a few minutes. You can see it's already starting to come under control. The flame is now turned almost completely blue. And once everything is settled down and that generator tube has gotten nice and warm, you can adjust the flame using this lever on the side. And then once everything warms up the temperature and you get everything adjusted the way you want it, you can see how nice and clean that blue flame is. And when you're done using the stove to turn it off, all you have to do is turn off the gas to the stove, let it extinguish, let it cool down and you're ready to put it back into its tin and use it at another time. Total weight is just a little bit over two pounds when it's empty and the reliability of these stoves are really, really good. Basically, if you keep them clean and take care of them, they will last a lifetime. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos. At the very least, you might be entertained.